What's up, my sweethearts? What it do? My sweethearts. What it do, Memphis, Tennessee? Get your lights all the way up for your girl, Jennifer M. Norellis. My sweethearts, I see y'all come through with your um comments, your cases you want your girl to run, just like cardio. And one of my sweethearts did hit me, and I'm ready to run her case, just like, what fucking cardio, and get to the front with your lights up. All right, Memphis, Tennessee. So, my sweethearts, I see you. When you write me, your girl, sorry to come a little late, but I will dub walk this shit for you. All right? Let's go. So, we got somebody who want to be an asshole. That's what we got. All right, my sweethearts? But before your girl dub walk this shit, let's go in. So, like I said, Memphis, Tennessee, what it do? Um, A man has been charged in the murder of his 27-year-old girlfriend, right? And their two-day old daughter in Memphis. All right. Brandon Isabel, 25, has been charged with two counts of first-degree murder for the deaths of Danielle Hoyle and baby Kennedy Hoyle. I hope I'm saying her name right. H-O-Y-L-E. According to Memphis police, Isabel initially admitted to shooting Hoyle and throwing the baby into the Mississippi River, but he pleaded not guilty? Okay. Let's go in, my sweethearts, okay? And after David obtained, all right, shows the investigation began on February 1st, my sweethearts, when an officer was looking for possible stolen vehicles when he found a car with the driver's side window broken out, the officer ran the plates and discovered the vehicle belonged to Hoyle. Police contacted Hoyle's family, right? Who said they have not heard from her since she left the house earlier that day with her two-day-old daughter. Mm. Okay. Let's go. The report says that while officers were speaking to Hoyle's family, first responders discovered Hoyle lying off the road near the vehicle where a gunshot wound, I'm sorry, with a gunshot wound to the head, my sweethearts. She was pronounced dead on the scene and the baby was nowhere to be found. Sick son of a bitch. Let's go. Hoyle's boyfriend, Isabel. That's what it say, my sweethearts. Who is Kennedy's father, was quickly determined to be a possible suspect and was taken into custody. Officers said he admitted to luring Hoyle to the area and shooting her. Also, he's a tough motherfucker. Oh, so he did this. Okay. He also admitted to taking the baby out of the car and throwing her into the river. According to the report, he also said he tossed the gun he used to shoot Hoyle into the river. Well, you know what, my sweethearts, before your girl go any further, I'm going to walk the fuck out this right now in the beginning, okay? I have boys. You hear me? So, my sweethearts with the males and boys come to the fucking forefront for real. So, this boy, Hoyle, I mean, I'm sorry, that's the girl. I'm sorry, sweet my sweethearts. So, the, all right, the boyfriend, Isabel, okay? You telling me you told the police you lured her to the area. Shooting her, and you took the baby out the car, threw the baby in the river, river. You sick son of a bitch! I don't see no, and don't no come at me, Jennifer M. The Wait a minute, you don't know. I know this is a sick motherfucker. I know I don't give a fuck what was the problem. I know I don't give a fuck what this girl have done. 
You telling me that baby deserved to go into a river? A two-day-old baby going in a river? Nigga, you need to go in a river. That's why they gonna put you deep down under the river bed. Under the bed. When your motherfucking crooks and criminals think y'all some tough shit, baby boy pamper wearing motherfuckers, soap diaper soil in your drawers, tight weak ass niggas. Yeah, I said it. When y'all niggas hit that jail cell, y'all think that shit easy. You think you're just gonna be up in a cell by yourself doing your time after you did your crime, hurting people's lives, and fucking up that family time. You think that's what you're gonna be doing, my nigga? You won't. It don't go that way. You're gonna get your ass slaughtered and tore apart over that bitch. Do you hear me? They gonna make sure you type of crook ass niggas. Get touched over that bitch. Do you hear me? They gonna wax your ass all up and down. JFC all up and down that bitch. Do you hear me? Yeah. That's why when y'all come to court looking like the fuck y'all been beat down. Y'all have. You sick. You know niggas. And this is why I say parents come to the front. Yes, I'm saying parents come to the front. You the fuck y'all heard me? Come to the front. Because let me tell you something why I say parents. Don't pretend these motherfucking kids just starting to do these crimes on the out. Y'all got some type of knowledge what the fuck your children are about. Can y'all always do something about it? No, you cannot. But guess what Jennifer M. The Real is going to do? I brought mine in this bitch. You better believe I'll take him out this bitch. And I ain't just saying those old school words. Nigga. Be a creep. I'll be messed up. Be a freak. I'll be gassed up. I sure will. The white man ain't going to accept it. The officers ain't accepting it, so why the fuck I'm accepting it? I'll put them under the, I'll put them where I brought them out. I'll put them right back under the dirt. I don't need no officers to put mine under there. So that's why I say purse to the front. These niggas, these anger, fuck what's wrong with y'all. Fuck what the girl did. Bitch, move on. I'm tired of excuses. And I'm bringing a real to y'all. These are the excuses why the niggas doing what they doing. What? She broke up with you? What? She fucked Michael? What? What the fuck did a baby do? Not a goddamn thing, you fucking psycho retard. Now that's who I call psycho retards. Motherfucker that do problems and crimes like that. I don't call people with disabilities retard. None of that. Cause they smart. They are smart. If you be if you believe it or not, they the smart ones. They the real smart angels out this bitch. The ones that do got them. They they the smart ones. You think they off? They on. They are smart. These motherfuckers you raise up to be supposed to be what you raise them to be, turn out to be Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Jason in a motherfucking presence. Don't come at me, the real. Don't come with me. Fucking come to me talking that shit. Somebody need to put these punk ass kids in a motherfucking place. This the problem. Act like the fuck nobody see shit. What's wrong with these boys? Girls. I don't give a fuck who it is. But right now we're talking about these psychotic ass boys. Mm. You can admit to... Well, good. I'm glad you did admit, though. I'm glad. So you can admit to over that jail. And you can admit to doing time. And you can admit to why you over there. And you can admit that you will never see the fucking daylight. The sun of daylight again. Now you can admit, okay, I understand why I'm over here. I understand why they threw me under the fucking dirt. I understand why my parents need to forget me. Yeah, straight forget your ass.
straight forget them. And don't ask me, the realest, would you forget yours? Let mine throw a baby on the river. He might just be with her. Fuck you mean. I ain't covering up no psychotic shit like that. I might go in the river. Let's go, my sweetheart. I hope you with your girl, the real Jennifer M. The real is my sweetheart with your light just all the way up. Let's go. Fuck they talking about. Mm. Hoyle's mother, April Campbell, said the family never met Isabel. Look at that. Despite him being Kennedy's father, Campbell said she first locked eyes with Isabel while he stood before a judge in a courtroom. And who is mother? I'm on your ass, mom. I'm sorry. Your baby gone, but I'm sorry. You give you fuck. Let me tell you something, moms. Let me all your moms come to the front, my moms. Where my sweetheart moms? Bring your little bodies to the front, babies. Bring your little sweethearts to the front. Come here, you moms. Come here. Let me tell you something. Don't you listen to your hot-ass daughters, your good daughters, your nice daughters, any daughters. Don't you listen to them. You hear me? When you, when they claim they fucking or having babies, or they pregnant, you meet them niggas. You hear me, mom? If they don't want you to meet them niggas, put their ass out. Put them out. There's a reason why they don't want you to meet them, but you let them know. Oh, let me tell you something. If I don't meet him, then you won't meet him. Because guess what? Y'all need to know who the fuck they meeting. And if you want to get tough with me, I'm going to break it down. Rest in peace, Kiara Coles. Rest in peace to that other mom that I did the case on that left her little daughter, her kids, at breakfast time. Oh, my God, I forgot this woman name. Yes, at breakfast time, mom met the boyfriend out front and never came back. Because he kidnapped her. Kiara Coles, pregnant. By a, a, her postal worker boyfriend. This poor baby disappeared. Why? Because he had a whole fucking family. Another life. And the story go on and on to the rest in peace babies. Do y'all hear me, my sweetheart? If I can't get one, I can't get two. I don't give a fuck. I get three, four, five people. Let's go. Let's go with your lights up and save these babies. You hear me? Let's go. Fuck that. Save your babies. Let's go save your babies And if your baby's gone my sweethearts Let's save someone else's baby Do y'all hear me my sweethearts This shit is unacceptable I place no games You hear me I got males myself And I will dunk walk the fuck out of them I tell them all the time If you mess with a chick Bitch Ho Freak I don't give a damn what y'all call them in the 2022's I'm gonna meet the mama And if the mama's unfit, I'll bust them bitches in the head. Oh, so y'all unfit? Y'all don't care my son dating your hot-ass daughter? But it would never be, because my son won't date that hot hoe. Because guess what? I'll kick the door in, kick her in, wait for four, kick her out the door. I ain't playing. Drag my son. Bring him in. What's up? Staying up, moms, dads, families. What's up? Too many deaths? Unacceptable. These motherfucking kids, who they running, won't run me. Give a fuck what their age is. Tell me you 19. Tell me you 20. Guess what? I dig up in your sh What's up? Playing with none of them. And that's how I'm coming, my bro. My sweethearts, I'm coming like that. The real with their ass. Because let me tell you something. They grown. They can make grown decisions. They fucking grown enough to get this work. Do you hear me? Don't you keep thinking, oh, that's my baby. That's my, I'm doing it to you. But let me tell you something. In the all reality, they think they grown. Out this bitch shooting baby mamas in the head, throwing babies over rivers. What the fuck is wrong with him? I don't care how mad she made you. How much arguing y'all do. And that's why I say parents come to the front. 
You let these kids know ain't nothing in life forever. You let these kids know it's going to be times that a girl gets you mad. It's going to be times when shit gets said. It's going to be times where the fuck shit don't go the right way. You don't fucking shoot nobody in the head. You don't throw no babies in no rivers. You don't fucking murder nobody. You don't do anything. You hit the wall and keep going and get your ass up. What is wrong with this society? You think every day of my life is so good and golden? Hell no! You think I'm throwing somebody in the river? Fuck no! I love my life! What's up? The only way you're going over there, you fuck with mine, you know? So let's go, my sweethearts. This is said the girl mother never even met him. And look at him. She couldn't even decide where as though, oh, he's abusive. I can't decide if I want him for my daughter. I can't decide do I really like him for my child. That's bad. That's wrong. Young girls out here having these babies or getting pregnant and the parents not even meeting these guys. Unacceptable. Unfucking acceptable. Poor mom, you can cry so much that tears don't even come down your eyes anymore, she said. I haven't slept, I haven't slept, and I believe you, mom. The investigators are still looking for baby Kennedy's remains in the river, my sweethearts. Hoyle leaves behind a 10-year-old daughter. So sad. If you ask me what the excuse is, I don't give a fuck what the excuse is. I ain't got none. His punk ass ain't supposed to have none either. Ain't no excuse when you acting a fucking fool. None. I ain't got none. I don't give excuses for babies. Sorry. I hope y'all like this all the way up, my sweet ass. And running with your girl, Jennifer M. The Realist. This shit is unbelievable. Well, it's not unbelievable. It's not. Since I've been running these cases, ain't shit unbelievable. What's unbelievable, unbelievable to me is why. That's that's really what I be wanting to know. Why? I wish I could talk to these young teens and teens or grown dummies. Because I'll call them a grown dummy if they grown. Make no sense. Young girl just don't eat. It's not right. It's not for her. Not for him either. I mean, you know, I just don't like it, my sweet It's unacceptable. Shit, unacceptable. So let me sum this up, my sweet for y'all, and get the fuck off this case. Because I'm really, it just, it just, I'm so distraught, for real. Because he had a chance. So, Brandon Isabel, okay? was arrested on Wednesday, uh, on Wednesday on two counts of first-degree murder as well as kidnapping charges in connection with the disappearance and death of Danielle Hoyle and their newborn daughter, Kennedy, right? All right. Investigators said that Isabel had waived his rights and admitted to Lauren, Danielle, like I said, Hoyle to an area where cops found Hoyle's abandoned car with a broken window and her lifeless body nearby with gunshot wounds. All right. All right. Isabel allegedly told police that after shooting Hoyle on Tuesday, his 25th birthday, he carried his infant daughter out of Hoyle's car, drove up to the water and tossed Kennedy who weighed just six pounds, into the river. He allegedly threw the murder weapon used to kill her mother in after. So basically, he was this, uh, um, dropped, like, like, getting rid of the family. The, the wife, I mean, the baby mama, and the baby. That's what this boy was doing. Getting rid of everything. He had, mm. This don't make no sense. I, I could never, I could never. Well, give me one second, my sweethearts. I could never understand this. Uh, so, like I said, he allegedly threw the murder weapon used to kill her in... I'm sorry, my sweetheart. Her, he allegedly threw the murder weapon used to kill her mother in 
after her. Yeah, I almost broke right there. I almost broke right there. You threw the murder weapon, used to kill her mother in right after the baby. You a dirty bitch. Let's go. After a search site for Kennedy on Wednesday afternoon, Hoyle's mother, April Campbell, told reporters that her granddaughter could have been safely dropped off at a fire station or a police station anywhere but the Mississippi River. And that's what I'm saying, Grandma. That's why I'm going. That's why I can't understand. You didn't have to hurt her, Campbell said, according to the appeal. You didn't want to take care of your child. You didn't want to be in her life. You should have left her alone. I just want to know where my grandbaby is. That is that's all I want. That's what the grandmama is saying, my sweetheart. Campbell told. Mm -mm. Just bad. I'm sorry, my sweetheart. Campbell told that she last spoke with her daughter around 7.30 on Tuesday when Hoyle told her she had arrived at a hospital for the baby to get some testing done. This don't make no sense. She was like, yeah, mom, I'm trying to get the baby out the car and get her in the hospital. Campbell told the outlet. Campbell tried, my sweetheart, I'm sorry, because, you know, it's really sad that somebody was talking to their child during this time. You know, I have a heart, straight up. Campbell tried multiple times to reach her daughter after that, but didn't hear back. Within hours, police had arrived at Campbell's home asking about Hoyle, who she would learn had been shot to death. Hoyle leaves behind an older daughter who is 10, like I said. With Kennedy still missing, Tennessee Bureau of Investigators, but she in that water. I don't even want to read that part. She in that water. So if she's in the water, I know um, they have to find her. They have to because they ain't going to just say, just go on, li listen to his words. I know that. My sweethearts, um, they got crews out. A dive team. Um, what else they got? Campbell, meanwhile, is devastated as she grieves both her daughter and granddaughter. And that's why I'm distraught right now. I'm distraught. Not only one child. She could at least have her grandbaby, but she can't even have that. Why? Because he killed, you know, he took them both out. Took them both out. And I, I, could, I could see why she ain't sleeping. I could see why she haven't slept. She have not slept. This is crazy. It's not right. I could. How could you sleep, my sweetheart, when it's something like a Kiara Coles, but the sad thing is the baby's alive and out of the mom. You know, the, she had the baby two days old. I don't give a damn what y'all was arguing, what was going on. I don't care. I don't even care if she ain't even let him see the baby. I don't care about none of that. You telling me you really took the girl out and had a nerve to go grab a baby and throw the baby? You got me sick shitting me. My sweetheart, like I said, it's your girl, Jennifer M. Norellis, right? This don't make no sense. It don't. And like I said, even if it was an argument, right? And, and that's what they saying. They saying man charge and murder of girlfriend, right? I don't care. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all got to do better. I know it had to be some type of argument, my sweetheart, for him to say he pleads not guilty, but he, he um he's sitting up there letting everybody know like he did it. Yeah, he shot her. Yeah, he did. So what was it? Self-defense? So what did a baby do to you for all that? For you to be saying, oh, I please not guilty. What? For what 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 excuse me? You see what I'm saying, my sweetheart? God, on, and it's saying on a live road in Sedgwick Street 
in White Haven. So my sweetheart, y'all, if anybody from there, y'all should know where that's at. This don't make no sense in 27. Like I said, that's why I said parents come to the front. Because these young babies, they young. They not that grown. I don't care what they think they are. Making dumb ass decisions like that? How grown are you? My sweetheart, it's your girl Jennifer M. Norellis. All right. Please have your like this all the way up. Hit the like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell, my sweetheart, to be notified all the time. Chime in with your girl Jennifer M. Norellis, my sweetheart. You hear me? If y'all got any cases, anything you want your girl to run that shit, just like, what cardio out this bitch, and I'm going to do it, all right? Because I will dug walk the fuck with them with the tightest ropes, you hear me? This shit is unacceptable. And they need to know it. Everybody need to know it. I need to let the shit show it, for real. Let the shit show it. And that's why I bring this shit to the front like this. I bring these stories to the front so it can show. So y'all can hear. Bring it to the front. Yeah, we hear these cases on, uh, like the news. No, but we ain't running them like the real running them. I'm breaking them bitches down for you in real life. Because that's what I live. The real life shit. So that's what we do. We break these cases straight down like that. Because the shit is what? Unacceptable. And we don't got no excuses for these babies. So please, like I said, hit the bell. Like, share, subscribe with your girl, the real Jennifer M. The real is my sweetheart. Till next time, I love y'all. Keep y'all grass cut. Stay up. Stay visual. Stay alert. Like always, my sweethearts. I love y'all, and I'm out.